Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another inks comparison video, and this is Colt Pen's exclusive summer inks comparison number one video. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the description, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomare River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomoe River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad these are the pads that i actually use when i'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink so they have these little squares up here uh, i just use that because it's a good guide for me when i put this very thin sheet of tomoe river over i can actually see squares so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3d and it has a number eight size bock nib which i can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size bock nib and the idea is i want to have consistency with the writing sample so i use this i dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it and then at that point uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it, that's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink here is Diamine sand between your toes which is a, an interesting name for an ink and i know that uh, at colt pens that the naming convention is actually uh, actually made up from the whole team so i think let's do an ink swatch now this is quite a light colored ink for sure quite pale almost watercolor i would say so we're going to do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between what would be a, a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. Now this is Colt Pens. And it's sand between your toes. But that is uh, certainly... Uh, an interesting colour, I'm very, very pale colour, and I'm not sure, I, I think the writing sample probably shows it up a lot better than it really is. The next ink here is Colt Pens, and it's uh, Lime Ice Lolly. So we'll do an, an ink swatch here, and it's definitely a lime colour. Now, interestingly enough, uh, Colt Pens also have uh, a livid lime, uh, was it livid lemon? I think it's livid lemon. Um, no, it's loving lemon and livid lime uh, in their uh, fresh roots edition. We'll do a second pass over the top half, and that will just denote the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry and a narrow writing nib. 
So clearly somebody likes lime colored inks at Colt Pens. So this is Colt Pens. And it is Lime Ice Lolly. But if you do like a pale colored ink or a pastel colored ink, I think this one could certainly be for you. The next ink here is uh, Colt Pens and it's Summer Sunset. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And I'd say this is again quite a pale colored ink. We'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a uh, wet or a board or a dry and a narrow writing nib. And this is Colt Pens. And it's Summer Sunset. And again, quite a light colored ink, but you are seeing it more darker in the writing sample. And then the last thing on this ink's comparison video that the label's been put on the other way to the rest of them is Colt Pens, a jug of sangria. So clearly somebody at Colt Pens likes sangria. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I have to say, I uh, have never had or seen sangria myself. Uh, so I'm not really sure if this is the correct color of sangria. Do let me know in the comments below. Uh, we'll do a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a board or a dry and a narrow writing nib. And this is Colt Pens. And it's uh, a jug of sangria. So interestingly, I've just looked up sangria. And I would say sangria is a lot more of a, a darker, deeper red. Uh, but you do have lots of fruit in it. So maybe that's where the, the color of the ink is coming from. I'm not, I'm not so sure that I would call this a sangria though. But maybe, depending on how light you make it, it's a possibility. So I think let's take a look at these inks now that they have dried. So the first ink here is Colt Pens Sand Between Your Toes. And I have to say, I think it probably is the color of sand between your toes. It's, it's actually a good, really a, a good comparison. Um, can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib? You definitely can. There is quite a contrast in difference there in terms of the the dark or lightness of that ink. Uh, is there any shading going on in the pulled area? Um, it's difficult to say. I want to say there is some shading going on here, but I also want to say it may be sheen going on. Now, in terms of shading, am I seeing any shading in the writing sample? There really isn't a lot there. So that's what makes me think that this area here where it went on the wettest is possibly trying to sheen it's not a gold sheen it's not a, a bright sheen but i'm seeing certainly a difference in color there uh, and it's not shading i would say the next thing here is colt pens lime ice lolly and uh that's uh the second lime uh, exclusive color that uh, they have had they've also had um was it livid lemon? No, livid lime. So if I can try and show you the difference here between the two, that's the difference. So there is quite a difference there. If I can try and bring it up close. Yeah, you'll see the difference there. So this isn't as bright a lime uh, as livid lime, but it's still, uh, it's more of a pale pastel uh, sort of lime color. Uh, can you see the difference between a uh, wet or a broad or dry or a narrow writing nib? You definitely can. It's a very large amount of difference there between the two. Is there any shading going on? Definitely there is shading going on here as well uh, in the pooled area. Uh, can you see it here in the writing sample? I can definitely see some shading on the downstrokes here being more darker. So 
definitely there is some there. Is there any sheen? Um, no, but I want to say it's trying to around these sort of areas where there is a much darker green there. It certainly is trying to sheen, but just not really going to be able to do so. The next thing here is Colt Pen's Summer Sunset. And I'd have to say, yes, this probably does look like a summer sunset color. Uh, can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib? You definitely can. Uh, a lot of contrast difference between the two. Um, this is obviously a wet writing nib that I've got here. Uh, so, so you're going to see it a lot darker here. Uh, can you see any shading going on? There definitely is some shading going on in that pooled area. Uh, of ink that you can see there. Uh, is there any sheen? No. Um, again, no. Maybe a little bit around the edges here, a bit of a darker red. But again, you're really not going to see sheen. But you can see a little bit of shading there in uh, the uh, writing sample. And then the last ink here is uh, Colt Pen's A Jug of Sangria. And I'd say that this probably really doesn't match the color of sangria from what i've seen just recently online on on photos of sang either a jug of sangria or a um, glass of sangria uh, can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib definitely you can there uh, is there any shading going on um it's difficult to tell there is some darkness there in the pool area not a huge amount but you're seeing some certainly here you are um are you seeing it in the writing sample? Yes, there definitely is some shading going on. Is there any sheen? No, I would say there is not. So, um, again, th these inks are not designed to be sheening inks. So, I wouldn't really be expecting that. So, that's my Colt Pens exclusive summer inks comparison number one video. If there are any of these inks that you like, do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any other inks you'd like me to check out, do let me know in the comments below. So that's my Colt Pens exclusive summer inks comparison number one video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.